Hey guys, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm making a top 10 list of the best 9mm in the world. And yes, this is partially inspired by that video that's somehow rocketed up to almost like a million views. It keeps getting recommended to me, the top 10 9mm in 2015 or something. I think my list is a little bit better and I'll look forward to hearing your thoughts on it. First up at number 10 we have the Sphinx AT2000S, which is a Swiss made CZ75 inspired design. And really who doesn't love the CZ75 ergonomics? The grip fits almost everybody perfectly. The controls are in just the right spots. You have the safety right here, slide release, mag release, it all falls to hand really nicely. The slide rides in the frame, which gives you a nice low bore axis, helps with accuracy. And what the Swiss bring to the table in this case is impeccable build quality. This thing is made out of solid steel, handmade in Switzerland, or at least they were while they were being produced, and it's just you cannot find a better made gun, basically. It's, it's almost jewel-like in its build quality. Trigger's fantastic. Watch this SA mode. A little bit of take up, super nice break, almost no over travel, very crisp. Double actions like it's on ball bearings. It's just a perfect trigger for a double action, single action gun. Plus, you get the CZ75 ergonomics, Swiss build quality, accuracy is stupendous. It's a great shooter at the range, and it's just a great gun. These are not related to the current SDP models, which are more of a mass production gun. These were basically handmade, and the quality really shows, and it's definitely it definitely deserves a place on this top 10 list. Next up at number 9, coming out of Italy, is the Benelli MP3S, which is a rare target version based on the Benelli B76, which is also a 9mm. This one is single action only, it's got a beautiful polished blued slide, nice all steel construction, trigger is great, and accuracy is also phenomenal because the barrel is fixed inside here, it's got a nice long sight radius. The insides are kind of wonky and pretty unique really, and I'll do a review about this gun in the near future describing exactly how it works, but this one makes it for its range performance, very accurate, great trigger, but mostly for its looks. It's got this awesome 80s retro Ferrari Lamborghini styling going on, I just think it's too cool. Grips fit great also, it's just a great gun, and I really enjoy shooting it. Number 8 is another Italian pistol, and this one might surprise you. This is the Beretta PX4 Storm. This is a great value because for about $400 you're getting an extremely accurate gun. It's very soft shooting. That's thanks to this rotating barrel system. See that barrel rotates? It makes the gun very soft, very fast, very pleasant to shoot. It's also extremely accurate. I like the ergonomics. The grip fits me great. Trigger is great too. Single action mode. A little bit of take up. Nice crisp break, especially for a polymer gun in this price range. Double action, very smooth. Overall, it's just a great shooting gun, and the point of this list is guns that are fun to shoot, great at the range, and this one does that perfectly. It's, it's just fun to shoot is basically what it is. And I can shoot it all day, and I will recommend it to everybody because it's just that good. And for under 400 bucks, cannot beat it. Next, we move to Germany and the HK P7 series, particularly the M13. Uh, they're all great, though. Triggers are good. Very low bore axis. You get great build quality. You see how low that barrel is in relation to your hand. That means that it really shoots fast and flat. You can just really fire off a lot of rounds and the, the gun barely moves at all. Reliability is great. Very interesting mechanism. They almost, almost become collector items at this point, but I still shoot this one a lot. It's a great shooter. Trigger is pretty good. So you got the squeeze cocker here. That cocks the gun, gets it ready to go, and there's your trigger. A little take up and then it breaks. Great shooting gun, a lot of fun. Now if you don't want to splurge for the M13, which granted doesn't fit everybody because the grips are pretty fat, the PSPs, the P7s, P7 M8s, those are all great guns too. Just the entire family is a really well-designed, well-built gun from HK, who never really produce a bad gun. These are one of their best for sure. Which leads me to the next gun on my list, which is another HK, the P9S Sport Group 3. This is a rare target version of the regular P9S, which is also a fantastic gun. But this one you get an extra slide with this long sight radius, target grips, and a single action only trigger, which is just fantastic. It's cocked and ready to go, barely moves at all, nice and light, extremely accurate with the fixed barrel in here, very unique and innovative roller delay mechanism on the inside. I'll do a review video about it in the near future. Build quality is maybe not the finest gun on this list, but you cannot deny its performance. I've seen test targets of under an inch at 25 yards, which is just great. Ergonomics are a bit on the wacky side. This here is a cocking lever, and you also use it to decock the gun. Pretty weird. Safety up here is kind of stupid. Plus it just looks ugly, I'm not gonna lie about that, but you cannot deny the performance at the range. It's a lot of fun, 
and it's just really a joy to shoot. And that's why it easily makes it onto this list of top 10 9 millimeters. Stunning performance. Next up, coming out of France at number 5, we have the MAB PAP F1, which is an extremely rare target version of the more common PA15, which is also not overly common, but you do see them more than this one for sure. So you can see PA15 is on the slide even still with this one. This is a more finely produced gun. The grips are a nicer wood. It's got a longer sight radius. The machining on it is better than the service grade quality on the regular PA15s. Still does use the same rotating barrel system though, which is similar to the Beretta PX4 Storm that I talked about earlier, but not quite the same. You see that barrel rotating? Not quite as soft shooting as that gun, but it is an extremely accurate gun. You have this long sight radius, the barrel moves only in a line, it doesn't drop up and down, so that contributes also. It's just an extremely accurate gun. The trigger is single action only. I'll show you that. A little bit of take up. Kind of heavy, but not bad at all. And I shoot this gun really well. First time I took it out, I'll be honest, I didn't shoot it that great. Not sure why, but lately I've been shooting better ammo with it, and the groups are just phenomenal with this gun. It's an extremely good shooter. Very pleasant, very fun. It's missing the rear sight, unfortunately. I actually have a sight that I need to install on there, but you can actually still shoot it pretty well because it's U-shaped and my groups are still great with it. These were used in French police and military pistol competitions with great results and I can see why. It's a great gun. really love having this one. At number four we finally have America representing with the Smith & Wesson Target Champion which is also known more commonly as the PPC-9 here in the United States. This is a rare German market version of the PPC-9. These were built for police competitions they use a Briley bushing up here in the barrel to keep the barrel locked up nice and tightly with the slide. They were made by the Performance Center back when the Performance Center was still really good at what they did. And these will literally group 1.5 inches or better at 50 meters with the right kind of ammo, which is just incredible. That's incredible accuracy. The trigger is great. Single action only. Fantastic break. And this reset is just something to marvel at. Barely let it out at all, and it's already reset. This is based on the 5906 frame, has nice nil wood grips on it, fits my hand perfectly. It's a nice, heavy, pleasing weight, very soft shooting. The accuracy, like I said, is just off the charts. Great shooting gun, and definitely something Smith & Wesson can be proud of. It's a great shooting gun. So we've made it to the top three, and my pick for the third best 9mm in the world is a plastic combat pistol. Not really though, I would put pretty much any USP up in this area though because I just think that the platform is that great. The USP Elite in particular is great. I also have a match and an expert. This is the cream of the crop as far as the USPs go. It has a super long sight radius which is always going to help with accuracy. The barrel is hand fit to the slide. It of course has the match trigger which I think is just beautiful. Really nice and crisp. Double action is also good. This one I have a jet funnel steel jet funnel mags. I also have a very rare Mercola tuning weight, which adds some nice weight up to the front, but in a good way. You might think it's real front heavy and it's a little bit, but the way this weight is designed, it really feels like it's just part of the gun. It makes it feel like the frame is made of steel, and especially on the Expert, which is even a little bit shorter, it feels that way. This is a must-have upgrade, I think. They're super hard to find, but if you do find one, they're worth the money. This gun will shoot literally under an inch at 25 meters. That's what the test target shows. It's just a fantastic shooter. And even without the weight, it's great, but with that weight on there, the sights do not move off target at all. You just bring it up, it's instantly there. It's one of my best shooting guns, and I bring it out almost every time I go. It's just that good. I'm in love with the USP platform, and this one is just the best of the best, in my opinion. And an added bonus with the USP match guns, in addition to the accuracy and the controls that I like, is you also get the USP reliability, which is almost legendary, and I've never once had any kind of jam with this gun or any of my USPs. They feed everything, perfectly reliable, and you get this sort of match grade accuracy, great controls, all those other great things. So, so definitely a solid number three on this list. Number two is the SIG X6, which is similar to the USP Elite that I just showed because it's based on a more common combat gun. This is based on the P226, but it's a highly accurized target version with an extended slide and extended sight radius. This one has a nice single action only trigger. Brilliant trigger. I've also got the rare weight module mounted to this one which is a very nice addition, and I'll do a review about that in the near future. Really gives the, the pistol a nice heft in the hand, keeps recoil down. It feels like a 22 when you're shooting it, especially with a full mag in here. This gun weighs almost 68 ounces, which is just great. I love heavy guns, and that's about as heavy as they come in 9mm especially. Build quality is top shelf, and ergonomics are great. The controls are all where I want them to be. It's just one of those guns that you just it's impossible to miss with. And pretty much every one that I give this gun to is instantly just smitten with it because they can shoot it so well. That's just how good it is. And I highly recommend the X5 or the X6 series to pretty much anybody just because of that. 
fantastic gun. And finally, what I believe to be the number one 9mm pistol in the world, and remember this is all just my opinion, the Pardini GT9 out of Italy. This gun, not only does it look amazing, I mean look at how cool that looks, but the ergonomics are about as good as it gets. The, the swept back grip angle is like a Glock, but way better. It lets the gun point really naturally, you just bring it up and it's instantly on target without even trying. It lets the gun ride really low on the hand also, it's got a giant beaver tail here. You can see the slide rides inside the frame, which also contributes to accuracy. You're looking at two inches at 50 yards here, which is just mind-blowing. Ergonomics are all great, all these controls are real nice and big and easy to hit. Build quality is fantastic too. The slide is just so smooth you have to rack it to believe it. It's like it's on butter. Trigger is adjustable and basically perfect. A little bit of take up there. No creep, no over travel, super light. And it's just impossible not to be accurate with this gun. Like you just close your eyes and you point it sort of towards the target and you're just tearing out the bullseye without trying. That's how good it is. And it may not be quite up to the levels of the Sphinx in terms of build quality, but just everything else in this package is hard to beat. And that's why for me, the Pardini GT9 is the number one 9mm pistol in the world for shooting at the range. Not saying any of these on this list are the best for go to war or, or if you're on a boat off the coast of Somalia or something, no, you're not going to bring a Pardini GT9. But I think for most people at the range, this is about as good as it's going to get. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.